Wondering how to submit your transcripts? To assess your application to the MEL or MHLP master's degree, we need to review transcripts from each post-secondary institution you attended for one year or more. In your initial online application, you will need to scan and upload copies of your official transcripts from all post-secondary institutions you have attended. To ensure we can see your full academic history, please combine your scans into a single PDF document for each degree or post-secondary qualification. We also need you to scan both sides of the transcript to make sure we can see your institution's grading scale. If your transcripts are issued in a language other than English, you will need to submit both a scanned copy of the original transcript and a scanned copy of an official English translation. Some universities offer official translation services, so ask your previous institution to see if they can help you out. If not, you may need to hire a professional translator. If you transferred between institutions during your post-secondary studies, you must also send us the transfer credit transcripts from each of the institutions. Most transcripts include the degree name and conferral date, which is the date you graduated. However, if your transcripts do not include the degree name and conferral date, we will also need a copy of your degree certificate. As before, official translations must accompany your original documents. If your degree certificate is not in English, please scan and upload a copy of your official degree certificate along with an official English translation. If you are accepted into the UBC MEL or MHLP programs, once you receive your conditional offer, you must arrange to mail us official paper copies of all your academic documents. These documents must be in sealed envelopes and mailed directly by the institution where you studied. Be sure to have your official documents sent to the correct mailing address, as UBC is a large campus. For complete application information, please visit the admissions section of our website.